Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Canadian professional golfer and Steelhead's brand ambassador, Taylor Pendrith. First off, Taylor, let's just start with how you're doing. Uh, where are you now and how's the game? Yeah, I'm um, doing good. Thanks, Mike. Uh, down in Florida right now, just uh, preparing for the uh, season, I guess, and uh, get started next week um, in Florida, actually in Sarasota. So um, game's feeling good. Uh, it was nice to be um, back in Canada for a few months to kind of relax and reset everything. And um, yeah, I've been back here for three weeks now. And um, so things are starting to come together and definitely looking forward to, uh, to the year. And so now I just want to go back to last year and prior to March, you started the season on the corn Ferry tour, you had a top 25 and then the pandemic hits, uh, the tour shuts down. What are you thinking at that point? And how did you have to adjust? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's kind of a crazy year for everybody in the world. But, um, you know, it was actually kind of nice for me, I was kind of battling a, a bit of a shoulder injury, and it get, kind of gave me some time to uh, rest it and also gave me some time to be at home. Um, and just kind of, you know, relax and, and, and make it better, try and get it better. And um, when I got back, I got on a kind of a hot run there in the middle of the summer. And um, so it, you know, obviously, they did the right things that they needed to do during, you know, the, the, I guess, prime of the pandemic or the early stages of it. But um, yeah, you know, it was, uh, it was great. So let's fast forward to when the corn Ferry tour resumes play, you went on this insane run, like you talked about, and I'll just read off your finishes quickly here. You tied for third solo second tied for second tied for second. What clicked in your game over those four tournaments? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a lot to do with the confidence thing. You know, I uh, had never finished that high before in a Corn Ferry Tour event. And um, I think all aspects of my game kind of came together and was driving the ball great, um, was putting it really good and, and just kind of in a good mental space, um, you know, kind of proving to myself that I can compete with these guys. And for the first time, you know, playing in the final group in Colorado where I finished tied for third, um, which was the first week of, of, I guess, of that run that I went on. But um, just playing with those guys and realizing that I don't really have to do anything special to to win or to compete to win, and just kind of got to play my game and and uh, and go with it. And um, you know, I was in the final group the next week and and the following week, so it was it was a lot of fun and um, just playing. I guess earlier in the year, I, I didn't really have the best weekends. You know, I'd get off to a good start and kind of struggle on Saturday and Sunday. And um, in Colorado, where I finished tied for third, at, you know, the beginning of the year, I was playing some really nice golf on Thursday and Fridays and just kind of had some slow weekends where I couldn't really put two good rounds together and, and really get that high finish. And um, Colorado was the first one that I played well on Saturday and played really good on Sunday and um, just kind of gave me a lot of confidence, you know, moving forward. And um, the tournaments after that had some really nice Sunday rounds and, um, you know, played really, really good. And um, the guy who won just played a little bit better than me and, you know, that's just the way it goes, but um, kind of proves that, you know, I, I can compete and um, just need to, I guess, put myself in a better position moving into the Sunday round because all of those final days were, were some nice scores and, and nice golf and um, felt pretty comfortable. So, yeah, it was good. And I also want to talk about your U.S. Open experience, your first career major. How are you feeling heading into that tournament? And what was it like standing on that first tee on Thursday? And what did you take away from the experience? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, it, you know, just just being there was great. Um, if there was fans and spectators, it would have been, you know, on a whole nother level. It was uh, still pretty nervous on the first tee shot. It was kind of a kind of a hole that I don't really like. It's, I mean, a very difficult par three. It was the 10th hole. And, uh, you know, just thinking about that shot all night. And basically, if you miss the green, it's you're going to be struggling to make par and uh, miss the green, but happened to hit a really nice chip shot and, and made my par putt and kind of settled in um, there. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a really cool week. Just, um, you know, I, I didn't really... I wouldn't say I'd had like super high expectations, but also I, I wasn't, I've earned my way in there. There's no reason that I couldn't play well, um, you know, and so 
the whole thing for me was just not be intimidated by anything. Um, you know, obviously it's a bigger golf course, harder golf course, and it's a major championship on the PGA tour that I've never played in before, but at the end of the day, it's another golf tournament and, um, you know, I earned my way there and there's no reason why I couldn't compete with those guys. So, um, I had a really good time. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. The golf course was hard and, um, I knew it was going to be really difficult going into it. And, um, yeah, me and my caddy, Mitch, we did a nice job kind of planning our way around the course and not putting ourselves in awkward positions. And, uh, I didn't make a double bogey or, or, you know, all week. And, and that was, that was big because those were very easy to do out there. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, overall it was, it was great. I wish, I wish my family and friends could be there, um, you know, to, experience it and 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 some sort of spectators there would have been amazing but um it was it was as good as it could be well we were definitely watching you from uh here in mississauga um and after such an impressive year what areas of your game are you working on and what goals have you set for yourself in the 2021 season i think the you know number one goal is to get a victory on the web.com uh or sorry corn Ferry tour um you know, been very close uh, the last year and um, that's the number one goal. Um, you know, a side goal um, would be to finish number one on the um, points list. That does a lot for your status the following year on the PGA Tour. Um, so I'm in a good position to, uh, you know, make a push and, and pick the tournaments I want to play um, and, uh, you know, just do my best to, to get a win or a couple wins and, um, the rest should kind of take care of itself. But as, as to my game, I think uh, I just got to keep driving it really well and uh, improve with the wedges and, and, uh, and keep making some putts. But um, yeah, I definitely made some improvements over the past year and um, the last three weeks prepping here down in Florida have been good. So uh, yeah, looking forward to the year and uh, hopefully can get that win. And finally, I just want to talk about the Canadian talent that we're seeing across the tours now. I've got guys like Mac Hughes and Corey Connors, Adam Hadwin, Nick Taylor, continuing to make names for themselves on the PGA. What have you seen from the development of the game in Canada? And where do you think that success has come from? Yeah, I mean, you look across all the major tours, you know, LPGA, PGA Tour, Corn Ferry Tour, and even the development tours, there's tons of Canadians now. And I think it's probably the most Canadians that have ever been on the PGA tour um, is this year. Um, and, you know, that speaks a lot to the, to the talent level of Canadian golfers. And, uh, you know, I think golf Canada, I've been on a part of their program for, you know, the last seven, eight years, and um, they do a really good job kind of structuring practice and, and with all the coaching and mental coaching and um, physical coaching and, um, they do a really nice job kind of preparing you for the next level. And, you know, there's guys, um, Corey Connors, Mac Hughes, like you said, they're PGA Tour winners, Adam Hadwin, Nick Taylor. And, um, you know, it's, it, you kind of look up to them and you can learn from them. And, you know, I've played a ton of golf with um, Corey and Mac, especially, and um, still practice with Corey when we're here in Florida. And, um, you know, just trying to find little things here and there and, um, my game's not far off, I would say. It's just, you know, a matter of getting there and, and, and uh, you know, kind of proving yourself out there. So uh, put myself in a nice position so far and um, would love to uh, add another Canadian flag up at the top of the leaderboards on the PGA Tour. So, um, yeah, it's exciting. Well, thanks so much for taking the time today, Taylor. Uh, keep up the great play. Best of luck this season. And we'll look forward to seeing you on top of the leaderboards. Right on. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.